Congratulations on completing the first two units of Sailor.org's interviewing course. In this third and final unit of the course, we will focus on negotiating compensation. This unit will provide you with resources that address the daunting subject of salary and other types of perks that you may secretly desire but are afraid to ask for. Again, the experts tell us that they are always surprised at how many interviewees do not ask for what they want. A prepared candidate is expected to have knowledge of comparable positions in their labor market, as well as their own competitive market value. In this unit, you will learn how to obtain salary information for a specific type of job or occupation. For example, in Negotiate Your Salary, Career One Stop helps you explore salary information for over 800 occupations. Under Understand the Rules of the Game, they advise don't assume the first offer is fixed. Even if the interviewer tells you it is, it rarely is. You'll learn how to evaluate the offer wisely and to communicate your ideas, questions, and concerns effectively. In Virginia Tech's Career Services article titled Salary Questions and Negotiating, the authors include various scenarios in which you are asked to respond to questions about salary expectations. You must sound prepared and confident when discussing these issues. After all, if you don't think you're worth it, why should the employer? You will also read Rachel Farrell's article from CareerBuilder.com titled, Eight Ways to Negotiate for Job Perks. Salary is not the only means of receiving compensation for a position you desire. The article quotes Tina Chen, Vice President of Operations for EmployCo USA. Just because a company may not be flexible with salary negotiations doesn't mean that they are not willing to offer other extras in lieu of a higher salary. There are many perks that can make up for differences to make the workplace more attractive. Some of these perks include extra vacation time, flexible scheduling, continuing education benefits, and tuition reimbursement. And sometimes, as Bill Driscoll, the district president of Robert Half International, has pointed out, negotiating these perks can actually be better than negotiating for a higher salary. In closing, experience tells us that throughout your job search, you'll probably have several interviews. Don't think of a rejection as a failure, but as a chance to have one more practice step in your journey to land that perfect job. Best of luck on any interviews you have coming up.